Developing now family and friends of a woman killed along a busy Orlando road are set to gather today for a vigil to honor her memory. It comes as police are searching to find the gunman who opened fire, killing Carola Luciano and injuring two others along Cimarron Boulevard last month. Ezzie Castro was one of the first reporters on the scene when the shooting happened. She joins us now live. Ezzie, her family is now hoping someone will come forward with information leading to an arrest. Justin, her mother is hoping someone will come forward with any information at this point. And this morning, you can see a memorial of where Carola uh, Luciano was shot and killed last month. And today, family and friends will meet here for her vigil. It's not fair. You took my baby away. The mother of 25-year-old Carola Luciano begging for her daughter's killer to come forward. Luciano was in this red Dodge Challenger on December 13th when she was shot and killed on Semeron Boulevard and Curry Ford Road. Orlando police believe the shooter was inside this white Dodge pickup truck caught on surveillance video. She was alive. And she said a couple words to you? Yeah, she said she wanted her mommy and her brother. This witness saw the whole thing and rushed to help Luciano and two others inside the car. The passenger window of the Dodge Ram was open and I saw four or five flashes come from that window and heard four or five bangs. It's still not clear if the car Luciano was in was targeted, but her mother says they are not losing faith and will continue to fight for justice. Justice for Carola means that I will not let my daughter down. Orlando police say they are offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. So if you know any information about this, make sure to give Crimeline a call, 800-423-TIPS. Live in Orlando, SD Castro getting results, News 6.